Hey guys, it's Scott Chow here, and I'm here to show you a little preview of SiteBuilder.com and the website builder that they've got going there. Um, so I'm already in the website builder. I've logged in. Uh, I've already selected a template. And like I've said before in some of, these other, some of the other videos about the other website builders, no matter which one you choose, it's really important that you um, pick a good template. You know, so whether you use Wix or you use SiteBuilder or use Weebly or any of the other website builders, you know, the main thing is you want to pick a good template to start with because that's going to really, you know, impact your results. If you pick a good template, it's going to make it a lot easier for you. You're going to have to do a lot less customization. It's going to be just a lot simpler overall. So uh, let's jump right into it here. Uh, I've already built this site here in Site Builder, um, but just to kind of show you how it works, um, you've got your various uh, sections over here that you can easily navigate to. You've got your drop down menu here so you can look at the different pages if you want to edit. For example, I'm on my home page now. If I want to edit my about page, I can click here and then it takes me to my about page. Um, and again, just like the other website editors, they're, very, they're all somewhat similar in that you click on the, you know, the area that you want to, to work with. And then, for example, this is a text box, so it gives me an opportunity to put some text in, uh, change the name there, whatever I want to do. Same thing here if I want to. Uh, add new pages, remove certain pages, very easy to do here. Um, adding images that I've done here. Um, it's all, you know, pretty straightforward. Um, some of the, you know, that you can see from this um, particular template, uh, I've got something themed towards, you know, web design, which is what I'm looking for. So that made it a lot easier for me. I didn't have to add these images in. They were already there for me. And they've got, you know, SiteBuilder's got a lot of templates that you can choose from. Um, so you can probably find something that's related to your business or your particular um, style of website that you want. Um, I'll show you a couple of cool little features here on the contact page. Here we've got this cool little map in the background here, which I think is really cool. And they make it really easy to use here. Um, you just click here and where is it? Add map marker here. So I can change this map marker to anything that I want. So for example, by default, it's set to New York City. If I want to change it to, you know, I don't know, uh, Atlanta, I can do that. I can even put in a specific um, address if I want to. You know, whatever whatever you want to do for your business, whatever is appropriate for you. Click OK, and it updates this map here with the background uh, from Google Maps of uh, the Atlanta area. So, and obviously, I can come in here and click and actually change. You know, I could put it in Atlanta put in whatever you know city I want to there. Um, so that's a cool little thing. Same thing here with this social links uh, feature. Uh, it's very easy to use. You just click manage social icons. Then you come in and put in uh, your address for your Facebook page or Google Plus page, you know, whatever. Obviously, you can also click here, add or remove. If you don't have a Google Plus page, you can remove that and add in some other social media. Um, so social media, obviously, is really hugely important for promoting your website. So you definitely want to have social media connected on your website, and this is a really make it really easy to do here with Site Builder. Um, so that's kind of um, you know the basics of the Site Builder um, website builder. Um, there are a variety of you know different things you can do here. Obviously, I'm just going through a very uh, small number of them just to give you kind of an idea of what the website builder looks like. Uh, if you come up here at the top, you see it's got the undo redo buttons. So if you mess something up, you can go back and um, undo it. Um, and then when you're done, you know, you just click save and then click publish and it publishes it to your live website. Um, so that's about it. If you guys got questions, feel free to contact me through the blogstarter.com. There's a contact page there. You know, feel free to shoot me an email uh, and I will respond to you personally. Thanks, guys. Take care.